In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up SSO with SAML based authentication for ConnectWise Manage with Azure Active Directory. So, the first thing you'll want to do is come into the Azure Active Directory Center here. You can go to adad.portal.azure.com, click on Azure Active Directory, go to Enterprise Applications, and you'll have your list of current applications here. What you want to do is click on New Application. From the gallery, if you search for ConnectWise, they actually already do have an application here. Uh, but as you'll notice, if you click on it, they haven't updated it for SAML-based authentication. It's just password-based. So what we're going to want to do here is click on the non-gallery application. And if you do not have a premium level plan of Azure Active Directory, you're going to see an error message here telling you to buy that. Um, it does require you to purchase that at $6 a user a month. Um, but you could purchase a single license and get this set up across multiple people within your organization. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and name this here and I'm going to click on add. It's going to add this application. First thing I'm going to do is configure this for single sign on and I'm going to select SAML from my options here. So couple of things in the first section here we're going to have to configure each of these URLs and identities so what we're going to do is click on the edit icon I'll add this in the uh, notes section of the description below this video but these are the URLs you're going to want to replace them with here um, you're going to want to replace your company ID with uh, the company ID here I should say with your company ID in both A and B um, and then the rest of them here you're going to want to modify the only thing you would modify is the version if you're currently running an older version or a newer version you want to make uh, an append to the end of this line here so I'm gonna go ahead and pause real quick and fill out these fields with my company ID and I'll be right back all right once you've done that it's gonna come up and ask you if you want to validate it I'm not going to do that yet since I haven't added any any users currently Next thing I want to do is download this base64 cert and that will download behind the scenes there and lastly I'm going to want to copy the login URL and the Azure ID identifier because I'm going to need them in manage so I'm going to grab this and this paste them in here the last thing I'm going to do before I leave Azure Active Directory is go into the users and groups section and I'm going to assign this to a test user here and I'll click on that user and click select I'll click on assign alright so that's done now I have this pulled up here so next thing I want to do is pop into manage and under the setup tables here I'm going to look for under the general section and search for SSO configuration I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add a new SSO configuration. I'm just going to call it Azure AD SSO. And under the type, say SAML. So now I can go ahead and paste in these two links here or URLs. So uh, the identity provider one is the secondary one that I copied last. And the other one here, I'll copy up top the login URL. And now I'll browse and I'll find the certificate I just downloaded and I'll go ahead and select a location to apply this to just gonna say all and I'm gonna click on save and you'll notice here that it filled out the issue to fingerprint and valid to and from uh, down below so I'm all good there the only last thing you would want to check in ConnectWise is under the member section that your member does have the email address uh, listed here that is um, reflecting in Azure Active Directory or else this isn't going to work. After you're done setting up things and manage, you can come back into the portal here and you'll want to go to myapps.microsoft.com for one of the users that you added to the application itself. You'll notice here uh, you have ConnectWise Manage. You can click on that. It'll open and authenticate for you. You'll be back into the portal, single sign-on. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below on this video.